Hi, this is Paul. And la while I was on my weekend thing, I played, this is Justin Wells. Some of you know who he is by now. Uh, I played his conversation with Grim Grizz, which I thought was absolutely outstanding. I think we got a chance to know Justin a little bit better. We heard about his idea for a little, maybe 10 minute uh, on-ramp intro for this little corner. And so Justin and I had planned this little talk this morning to sort of give an update and ask for more material, but things have evolved. So Justin, why don't you let people know uh, where things are at right now? Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, so as you know, the it started with John Van Donk saying to me, you know, why don't you make a video uh, based on the Chino conference, the quest for a spiritual home conference with with the other material that I've gathered over this this past year um, that would be kind of an introduction to what estuary is. And I, and I think that that's going to be easy um, now. So I, I, I dove into to to, to editing it and um, I wound up with over over the weekend, I looked at my timeline and I had. 45 minutes of very watchable footage that I had cut together. Um, and I, th and I thought to myself, is this really, is it, is this, you know, so I, I talked to Chad yesterday and I showed Chad some scenes and I, you know, so I, I'm starting to think, you know what, I think that you could, this could be a bigger project. Now, again, I still don't know where it would land. Um, but I think that there's enough material here um, to make, a feature length documentary. Um, I think that it, it it would be sustainable for someone that's not maybe familiar with this little corner of the internet and the high level conversations and the insider language um, to be able to watch this for, um, for, you know, 80 minutes or, or 90 minutes, hour and a half. Um, I think it's possible. So, so I think that I'd like to just kind of keep going and see where it lands. And again, we were talking just before we started recording, not sure about what, where documentary film is going these days in terms of, of where people will would like to watch something like this, whether it would be on YouTube or some other platform. Um, but, um, but everything that I've gotten from the community, the confession booth audio that I did, at the Chino conference, which was, which was um, uh, very, very gracious of people to go in and anonymously tell their stories to me just via audio in the confession booth. And then people that have been DM uh, sending me messages on Twitter saying, I didn't get a chance to tell my story, but I still want to. And so I've, I've given them the opportunity to send in uh, audio or video to me, which is still open. I'm still open to, if you have a story about this little corner of the internet estuary, uh, your journey uh, into and out of and through the meaning crisis. I'm certainly, you know, would love to hear that. Um, but I thought I maybe I'd show just a little sample here of kind of how I'm kind of thinking about it. Um, and, uh, and and those of you that have been in this in this community longer than me, I, I'd I'd love to hear from you in terms of um, you know if if you think this is if you think this is working, if you think this is worthwhile. Um, you know, those of you that I talked to in Germany uh, back in September, you know, now you're you're probably wondering, I, I would gather that footage. What happened? <laughs> now I'm finally putting it all together. Um, and uh, so, so I'll, I'll just show you a little, uh, maybe three, four minutes. Does that sound good? That sounds great. OK. Sharing screen. OK, so. Um, imagine this is about halfway through. I've already introduced uh, the meaning crisis. I've already introduced a few uh, key, key concepts from, say, John Verveke. Um, and this is going to be uh, basically your, your introduction uh, in, into the film. So this is about, let, we'll watch about five minutes of it. Okay. Um, let me go back just a touch. this argument before we the pervasive worldview the scientific worldview is a worldview in which we do not belong in which we do our existence as cognitive personal moral agents doesn't belong
right around before my dad died, I <laughs> I ate psychedelic mushrooms, and it kind of changed everything. Um, in that moment, I, I was with a bunch of friends, and um, it, it was just a very interesting time. But the, the there were like several lessons that were immediately engraved into my mind that I didn't really understand the fullness of until later. But the first thing that struck me was, I actually hate myself. I don't want to live. And I saw that clearly. And I, in this state, asked, well, that's... Why? <laughs> That's silly. Like, you're alive, so why should you wish to be dead, you know? And, and so I was able to reconsider all of these things, and I immediately knew that, okay, so you should probably stop smoking weed all the time, and yeah, stop drinking, and, and all these things like, oh, just start here, you know? And But it was also beyond those very practical things. It's like, the group was about 10 people, and immediately it split into two between these, like, hyper-rational materialist types that were arguing for how science is going to prove everything and science is the only answer and blah 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 but then there was this other group of people of which i felt very much like in tune with <laughs> that was saying the ineffable is the supreme period <laughs> and that is the source and and it was so funny to hear them talk about their their measuring instruments and their numbers and we're laughing and laughing it fills us with such joy because it's silliness you know and so that moment kind of ripped up the husk of who i was and allowed some new growth so reverend paul vanderclay is a dutch reform pastor who served as a missionary in the Dominican Republic for several years before taking the call as a pastor in Sacramento, California. Reverend Vanderclay is known for his deep engagement with culture. Okay, and then and then I would go into your your backstory and uh, and how, how you started a YouTube channel and how how the, how it came about that you are you know sort of hearing these confessions from all of these different. Uh, randos, all these different di different people, um, and 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 what a kind of crazy thing that that is. Yeah, very crazy <laughs> over thing. over over YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very crazy thing. Yeah, that's that's powerful. And and before you played some clips from the confessional booth from the conference too, and you know I've been really curious because I I have a sense of what's in there because I've heard a lot of it on my channel, the randos conversations, but even just with the next, I'd say about half to two thirds of the conversations that I do are posted and the others aren't. And um, people can say things with a camera off without a name that they can't necessarily say uh, with their name or at least their face on a video. And, and of course, that's, I mean, pastors know this because it's it's part of what um, part of what our work is and but there's so much truth out there that's you know I started posting these randos conversations partly because I knew when people would tell me these stories they were not alone but they all felt alone because there were seldom spaces where they could tell this story and have someone else say oh me too oh that's true of me too and, and to begin to make connections with each other, which which for me has been what Estuary and this little corner and, and this whole project has been about. So yeah, that's I'm I am so excited about this project. I just partly because for for so many people to so so I here's this relatively small YouTube channel, and I post a conversation with someone that nobody else, hardly anybody else on the internet knows. And why would anybody watch that conversation? And when it comes to my video analytics, I know if I put a video up about Jordan Peterson or John Verveke or Jonathan Peugeot or some famous person, lots of people watch it. And then I put a Randall's conversation and, you know, 
few hundred people watch it. But those who have watched that together, that sort of becomes a holy space and a holy moment. And and then suddenly all of those randos sort of start getting knit into a community and a group of people. And and for me, that's you know, that's really what this project is about. So that and as Grim Grizz says, you know, people will be that even more than virtually not alone. And that that's what the conference was about. So no, I'm, I'm super excited about this, Justin. I'm super excited about this. Yeah. So I, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, yeah, w w what I'm interested in is the phenomenon. What you might say, what's the phenomenon that I want to document? Um, it's actually those numbers right at the bottom of your little YouTube, those, those people watching, you know, is there a common story or a common pattern you know, maybe the background of the meaning crisis, individual uh, feelings of, of, let's say, not belonging, trying to process this moment in time in human history that we find ourselves, I think is a very profound, you know, moment. And this hopefully, for it, the, the reason why I want to do it is to contribute my rumination <laughs> uh, to 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 provide an opportunity for us collectively to ruminate on these patterns so why so collect them all together you know collect the stories together and and i think there is a common sort of you know thread of 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 this i don't know what you call it a spiritual journey or intellectual journey or emotional journey that um this whole generation maybe or generation or two is going through Oh, I, I agree. I agree. So, so obviously, you know, it's, it's a, it's a little bit of drama. You know, the difficulty of getting a slot on my channel, a rando slot to tell people stories. That's a constant thing. Um, I always get way more requests than I have time myself to sit for. Um, but how can, and so what's been gratifying about this is, you know, the other channels have taken this up um you know grim grizz has and and part of for me my goal in this has always been to sort of not build a monolithic empire the paul vanderclay or estuary inc but rather much more of a network so it can get distributed because when it's distributed then more and more people can share so if people want to participate in this and they maybe haven't gotten a rando slot with me or weren't able to go to the conference how can they how can they participate yeah, just just go to go to find me on Twitter. You're one of the ones who got me back on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, but here we um, are. <laughs> um, yeah, just find me on Twitter. You can put my Twitter handle below okay. and uh, just shoot me a message. And and uh, I have a few people now who who are doing this. They're saying, you know, I'm they're gonna. I mean, all I want you to do is find a quiet place, a quiet room, and record your story. Try to keep it one two, five minutes at the most. Um, and, and if it's something that, uh, you want to be anonymous, just specify. And, uh, and, or if you, if you don't mind your name or face being in it, you could record a video, but I, I kind of, I kind of like this idea of this is not, we're not focusing on the face of the person we're not focusing on, but this is a pattern of pro of collective, you know, processing mental um, mental processing that 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 a whole bunch of people are going through, and I'm looking for that common thread. Um, so the way I'm structuring it, just so and and you guys can give me your let me know if you think this is works. So those of you that have been in this community longer than I have, listening to Paul longer than I have, in this little corner of the internet longer than I have, I'm sort of going from general to specific. The general background of the meaning crisis, that's the background, that's the setting that we're in. Um, the feeling, the emotional sense of not belonging and some not belonging to a community, not belonging to a metaphysical story, not belonging to this or that, that's the sense. So there, that, and then what to do? What are you doing now? You know, estuary is something that people are doing now. Uh, together, not alone is something that people are doing now campfires uh you know fe you know camping in germany at, at a, in, in in landau germany in the rain you know whatever it might be <laughs> making music or you know whatever it is that you're doing sort of as you um to to uh 
maybe to address the 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 meaning crisis and and the crisis and the not belonging. But those four things. So as it relates to those four things, okay. um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, and I, I will I will I will talk to John and Jonathan too because there are corners to the corner, and be, you don't have to necessarily watch my videos to participate in this. There are a lot of people who watch primarily John Verveke stuff. There are a lot of people who participate predominantly in the symbolic world. And so this fringe has fringes too. So I would say if you listen to what, how Justin just sort of laid it out, um, you know, find Justin again, I'll put his, his, his Twitter handle below and uh, message him and yeah, and participate. I'm, I'm blown away that Justin wants more materials because over the last five years I've done, oh, my conversation playlist is over 500. Now, some of those are with, you know, John Verbeke and Jonathan Peugeot and so on and so on. But the vast majority of them are with randos who are just telling their story. I mean, there's just a an immense amount of material out there. So I'm amazed that you can sift it and pull it together. And I um, Justin showed me another little clip before we started recording, which um, mostly from sort of the confessional booth at the conference. And it was was really moving and really powerful. So I'm I'm very excited about this. So. Yeah, and we'll just see where it goes. I, uh, I, I have no idea where this thing will land, wind up, <laughs> but I figure, why not? Why not just keep going? Why not just push forward? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's kind of how my thing started. It was like, well, people are watching. Why not just keep doing it? What, what could happen? So here we are. All right. So any, any other any other things that people need to know? Otherwise, we'll keep this fairly short. At least comparatively uh, on my channel. No, no, no. I'm just. I, I. I just want to say thank you for everybody who has talked to me so far. And 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 again, I'm. I'm not. I. I. I'm. I want to listen to 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 your guys' experience. I'm not. I'm not trying to impose a story on this or anything or necessarily. You know, decide where this thing is going to. I, I really want the feedback from the community, and I see it as a gift to the community, or perhaps a gift that the community can help give to the rest of the world. Uh, you know. So so that's how I'm approaching it. And and what's for, especially for the audio podcast? What is your Twitter name or however? What's what's your Twitter address? Uh, it's it's at one J Wells. Let me okay, just okay at sorry, one right. O N E J W E L L S. Yes. Uh, wait. Let me at one J Well W E L L S. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At one J Wells. Okay. I will put that below, and it'll be in the notes of the podcast, the audio podcast about. If you look at my about a third of my listeners are pretty much audio podcasts mostly. Oh, so, I see. Um, okay. I want to be sensitive okay. to those who are just listening, and right. yeah. So and and those of you out there in the audio audio podcast land too, um, you can just take your smartphone and mo almost Samsungs, Apples, they all have these little voice voice recorders. Get into a quiet space that'll make a good recording, and then you can fairly easily. Um, or if you want to make a YouTube video, you can always, if you have a Gmail address, you can make a YouTube video as long as the audio is good and then just send him the link and that way he can check it out. So good. Thank you, Justin. Okay. Thanks, Paul. All right.